Hello and welcome. My name is Zermus, Zero for short. I'm going to be playing through the campaign of Invisible Ink. This includes the Contingency Plan DLC. We'll just jump in here. I'm going to start a new game. Play the story mode. I have played through this uh, a couple times already. Probably on experienced and expert. We're going to be playing on expert. Uh, this is the base difficulty for the game. This is the way it's made to be played. I can, after I complete this campaign, potentially go up to Expert Plus, which definitely increases the difficulty. Uh, we're just going to leave it on this. It gives me one rewind, which is not very many. Uh, no level retries, and we're just going to leave all the settings to the default. Get to the main server, collect the data, and get out. No detours. Copy that, Central. Proceeding to target. Oh. Insertion was clean. Alarm level holding steady. I do wish this game had a non-story mode. We need to get to the third floor. We can make our way to the server room from there. Any chatter on the comm? Negative. It's silent on all frequencies. They should have detected us by now. They're on to you. Get out. Going to need an extraction. I've got incognito. Deckard and International are on their way. Get to the roof. I'll cover you. Go! Decker, how long till extraction? 30 seconds. Get us out of here. We've got work to do. All right, so now I gotta choose my team. I have unlocked everyone. Uh, I think some of these are DLC specific. Uh, so I'm going to play with some characters that I know I like. I like Banks a lot. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Paralyzer. This lets me keep people knocked out without killing them for an extended duration. In addition, she's going to get the key to open most doors without finding the key card first. Draco, I don't even know him. Uh, I also do want a good hacker, so. Usually international is really good. Her ability to hack remotely is super strong. So we're just gonna go with that. As for my programs, I am a big fan of fusion because this one it gives you more power than like the basic drip. You just have to time it right and not oh there's some new stuff. Okay, so I haven't unlocked everything. I haven't played this game in a while. It's probably been about a, a year. So, this burst. Interesting. Now, I'm going to go with some basic stuff. So, I'm just going to go with fusion. Uh, it gives me three power per turn on cooldown with four turn cooldowns. So, I have to use it every once in a while and make sure I don't drop below five power. Otherwise, I can't use it. As for uh, my breaker, I'm a big fan of Parasite. It's a little slower, but it's very cheap. If I have to start breaking lots of things at once, then it gets more expensive, but it's still it's still really good. All right, we're gonna go with these guys. It's 
2074, corporations rule the world with brutal efficiency. They hit you hard, and now you're on the run. You need to strike back, but you'll never win by force. Keep your agents alive with stealth and cunning. Raid the corpse facilities for tools and support, and prepare your team for the final showdown. The odds are stacked against you. You will fail, repeatedly. Well, hopefully not. But each time, you will learn more about your adversaries, and every restart generates a new world of dangers and opportunities. You have a tough job ahead of you, Operator. Don't let us down. I am ready. Day one. Operator, are you there? Good. I was afraid you didn't make it out. Headquarters is gone. Most of our agents have been captured or killed, and our accounts all frozen. I don't know how the corporations found us, but you can bet they won't give up now that they've had a taste of blood. The Jets' stealth bricks will keep us hidden if we keep moving. But Incognita can't survive long on backup power. She's got 72 hours tops. We need to mount a counterattack before then, or we'll be defenseless against their scans. If that happens, we may as well just crash this thing into the ocean. You've never seen the inside of a corporate deprogramming chamber. I won't see the inside of another. Incognita is scanning for targets of opportunity where we can replenish our supplies. Follow her leads and gather what resources you can. I'll run through our contacts and see what favors I can call in. We're going to need all of the advantages we can find in the coming days. Loadout. Oh, looks like we only have one option. Plastic executive terminals. Executives are notoriously slack when it comes to network security, and their terminals are full of interesting information. We found a lightly guarded executive complex here. Get in, find a computer, and steal their contact list. Then we'll have our fixed future target. Right. So executive terminals is one of the location types. I can go there in order to find other locations. So that's my only one available. Uh, this is Plastech Cyber Medical. This uh, says they, using cybernetic augmentation, they have modified their troops to meld with the mainframe. I think uh, this means I can, it's harder to hack, I don't know, we'll find out. All right, let's infiltrate. Uses up like 12 hours just to get to my first mission. All right. Alright, so we just want to get the executive terminals, get out alive, and find as much credits that we can steal along the way. So, so right after that, we need to start our fusion. That's how we get power. I have five power. I started with ten. Spacebar. Okay. Uh, so I can also hack this, which uh, International can do remotely. So selecting her allows her to scan the area. Uh, so. Get the console. This gives us a little bit of power. This one as well. I've got two cameras I want to access. So I'm going to use uh, my parasite. It's going to take a turn to do so, but the first one's free. The second one's only one, so I might as well do that. This is a server terminal. I don't need to get in here immediately, so I'm going to conserve a little bit of power by not using it yet. Uh, International. Needs to come through here and peek through the door. Oh, more stuff. Camera database. That's not super important because I can probably find the cameras. Power grid supply. It'll depend on whether or not it's blocking anything. Okay, so I'm gonna open the door. Hmm. Still need to peek around this corner. Do kind of want to access this server terminal. This is where you can buy stuff, I believe. Um, I'm gonna hang out here just in case someone walks through one of these doors. Let's go over the banks. She's gonna let's see. We'll dive into these spaces. I'm gonna have to wait until this camera takes a peek for me. So she'll go ahead and hide right there. I can put her on Overwatch, essentially, to prepare in case someone walks through that door. Thanks, do you want to move from here? 
if someone comes through the door, it should be a pretty, pretty big trouble. So I think I'll go ahead and back up here and close this door just in case. She has one AP left, so I can peek and then I'll be able to see if someone walks through. Uh, the first mission probably doesn't have anyone patrolling adjacent to where I start, but in future missions they will definitely patrol really close to me at the beginning, so I need to be careful. Alright, we'll go ahead and end the turn. Alright. All right, this is expanding the security level, which is up here. Every turn it's going to gain one power and then the security level goes up. Stuff will increase. Killing people will increase security because of their heartbeat sensors, so you need to be really careful of that. Alright, thanks. Go ahead and come. Whoops, that was the wrong person. Alright, it's been a while since we this. So, I guess we're going to switch sides. Go ahead and I don't want to switch sides. Oh, that was a screw up. Hopefully, get that out of the way. So, I do want to hack this. This power supply. Oh, so over here we can see. I can also hide these. Uh, this is just going to be a spawn spot. I don't need to worry about that yet. No one walked in here. I do like to close doors because occasionally people start walking around and this will block line of sight. Carnita is fine. So I lost a turn because I was dumb. So fusion has two more turns, so we'll go ahead and move in uh, international. Oh, there's no door there. I thought there was going to be a door, but there wasn't. So I can run, but I have to have not moved yet in order to be able to run. And it does make some noise, which can matter if you're close to other troops, the bad guys. All right, so we'll move her up here. If there's two doors right adjacent to each other, you can peek through both of them at once. Unfortunately, these ones are not. So here's what the power supply is going to be affecting. I might need to use it, so I'm probably going to hack it. Here's a level 1 security door. This is where Banks is really awesome, because she can just open it without problem. I still have AP, so I'm going to open the door to peek. I'm going to peek again to get around this corner. Okay, there's a console. That's fine. I'm going to close this door for now. Uh, I'm gonna this is the camera database and I don't really care about that. So let's go ahead and hack the power supply. International is done. Banks is done. Turn. Alright, let's go ahead and have Banks come all the way over here. She'll peek through here. Next turn, she can unlock the security door. International should be able to run without problem. So I'm going to go ahead and sprint. It just gives her a little more movement speed. So you can see there, it makes a lot of noise. Probably going to. This door probably leaves this hallway. So I'll just come over this way and close the door. My power is just fine. See, with, with uh, these two combined, I can have a ton of power. Without any real issue. So that's it. We're getting close to security level one. Up. Oh. Close enough that I can hear someone patrolling over here. So we'll go ahead and have Banks take a peek. Up. Oh, here's a guy. He's just a standard security guard. No armor, no issues. I cannot open this door at the moment because he is right there. Let's see, uh, International, I'm going to have her come up. Uh, so I need to start my, my fusion again. It's probably not going to matter because I have so much power. She'll come up here and then take a peek through the door. Oh, there's a camera there. So we definitely need to hack that. What is this? Corporate safe. We're going to hack that. i got lots of power so I can go ahead and be a little inefficient. This is where there's money and goods, so I definitely want to have that. So another thing you can do is check out the guard and you can see how they're going to patrol. So he's going to go walking back to that door, so I'll just move into position to go through this door as soon as he does that. Uh, this is uh, a yellow location, so what that means is 
It could hide there, but the problem is the door. If I open the door, he will notice it. And I definitely don't want to draw his attention. Okay, so cameras are different though. So I can go ahead and open this door and the camera will not notice. And then she can go ahead and peek again just to see everything up. Here's another security door, but it probably just leads to this little hallway area. I'll worry about that later. So let's go ahead and return. That was unexpected. Okay, activating more cameras. That's fine. So at level one, additional cameras are going to get activated. Here's one right here. Uh, so that's unfortunate because that's looking in on this guy. So apparently these guys are doing a back and forth patrol. I do want to deal with him. Let's see. Maybe he's right here or right here looking away. Uh, let's see. I can probably get International to come take a peek for me. This will leave her with 2 AP. Let's put her right here. Still 2 AP. Take a peek. Cannot see him. Um, I think Banks can grab him and then hide. First, before this camera finishes, because I think there's like a little flash where it will come online be able to detect me before I hack it and take it over. But more importantly, this guy is definitely going to be walking back in this door. So international, now go ahead and open up that door. Okay, there's the guy. He is staring at the wall, so I should be able to walk in just fine with Banks. So she can unlock a door that doesn't take an action. Open the door, no problem. Walk in. He's completely oblivious, so we're going to go ahead and like, okay, so I can KO. I can steal. I can pickpocket because she has one level in anarchy. However, I'm going to need to nail one of these two guys because they're like walking back and forth. So she'll go ahead and KO him. And she should be just fine behind this, this barrier here. You can see this is cover. There's a little symbol there. Uh, she's also going to stick him. So this will make sure he's KO'd for extra long. It should say... How long he's going to be out? Up, oh, KO five turns, uh, an additional two I think, or three because of the dose. Uh, yeah, so the my normal stun knocks him out for two turns. Uh, the injection will make it five turns. Also, while he's pinned, he will not. Uh, his timer it won't tick down. So she'll go ahead and close this door. Actually, no, she has a lot of AP. Let's go ahead and just drag him out of this room. So we will steal any valuables he has. He's got a cred chip, which is just money. Drag him over here. Drop him down. Oh, that actually took a lot of uh, AP. So probably would have been better is if I had left him there and just ran into position to move past this guy when he comes back into the room. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do it. Although this camera, I think, is going to turn back on. So maybe that would have been a bad move. So Banks is just going to stay there and pin him. International, close the door. Uh, I think I can get Banks to run over, loot this chest, and then run back while, the, while I'm waiting for the other security guard to turn back around. So International will... Ooh, what is this? There's another corporate safe. It's a two, level two, so it's gonna take two turns with the parasite to break it. It has two firewalls, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that started. Anything else I want in her unit to do? Don't care about camera database, really. There's a camera over here, but it's in a dead end room that I don't care about. This camera is actually watching for when enemies spawn there. That'll be good. So he walked back into this room. Up, oh, the camera is going to show me exactly where he is. So Banks, go ahead and come over here. This uses four for AP. Interacting with objects, I believe, is free. Yep. So she got some money, and then she can move back and pin him again to give me an extra turn. International. I want to peek through this door. Looks like nothing. Let's go ahead and. 
open the door and peek again. Sometimes you have to be really careful. Okay, so this looks like a dead end with a safe. That's good news. I'll just grab that money and move. That means this is the only exit here. Banks looks like we'll not be able to use the neural disruptor on this guy. I don't necessarily want to anyways. Uh, I'm gonna have International come back and pin him on my way through. Banks can hide in this corner here when the guard comes back in and then I can sneak through that door without too much trouble. I can also uh, pick his pockets, which is always good. All right, we'll end turn. International should be able to run without trouble. Loot this. Money. Right. Banks is going to come through here, close the door, and get in position. All right, she's out of AP, so I can't peek yet, sadly. And what do we got? One more turn for fusion. And nothing else to unlock at the moment. So I did get a little peek in the door there. I'm gonna go ahead and be a little risky and open it without peeking. So I'll go ahead and peek. Okay, there's a safe. Oh, interesting. So it looks like there actually might be a door over here because this does not seem to be the exit. All right, international, can you get on that body? You cannot. Hmm, that's unfortunate. I could sprint, but he might hear me. That's a good test, I'm gonna try it anyways. We'll go ahead and sprint and see if he can hear. Okay, so that was far enough away to not hear, and this lets me pin this guy a little extra, which is what I wanted. All right, Banks. International since the camera has spotted this guy, I can use her additional AP to see which way he goes when he goes in. Um, is he staring at a corner or is there a door over there? Hmm, all right, so Banks uh, cannot go this way without him seeing me. If I go over here, I'm just fine, which I'd also like to do so I'm right next to the, the safe to get it open as soon as the hat comes through. Except, if I'm over here, I think he'll see me as soon as he walks into the room. Actually, no, it looks like they've got a 90 degree status, so I mean it's risky. If I come in here and I'm standing right here, he might see me, so I'm just going to hang out right here. Close the door. I don't think he would notice that the door was left open when he didn't do it, but better safe than sorry. Closing doors is free, no reason not to do it. I gotta start my fusion. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and hack this thing. Maybe it'll give me a camera that shows me which direction the exit is, because it could either be over here or it could be over here. It's a little tricky. Uh, security level is almost level two. A new guard is gonna be summoned when that happens. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Oh, I forgot to pick his pockets. Oh, that was a mistake. I'll get him on the way out. Aha! So there's a door right there. So I'm going the right direction at least. Incognito can leave. I'm not Incognito, but International can probably leave him there. Let's have Banks come over here and open this. More money. He's going to come through here. The cover in this room is not amazing. So I'm going to have to hide right here. International. She won't be able to pick his pockets. But I can probably just stun him and make for the exit because it's got to be close. Uh, so she's going to go ahead and open the door, close it, and then hide over here. Uh, what do we got here? Fabricator. Did I forget to check this thing?
Whoops. Oh well. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and hack this. We'll assume I had nothing I wanted to buy. I like my starting uh, powers anyways. For Incognita. Alright, banks. You're fine. Go ahead. Oh, so level 2 only increases firewall strength by 1. That's no big deal. Yeah, I'm okay waiting one additional turn. That is one of the weaknesses of Parasite, is that fire level increases are fairly damaging to it. Uh, I just want Banks to get moving, so I'm going to go ahead and have Incognita, or uh, International, I keep making that mistake. Uh, she's going to go ahead and just zap this dude, so that I can loot him. Excellent. So I want the med gel for sure. The credits. I don't need the security card because I have Banks. Banks is amazing. Open the door. Just start dragging this guy a little bit. Fortunately, <laughs> I never really understood this part. It's like you have to drop the security guard before you can close the door. But none of these things take actions. All right. Banks, come in here. Take a peek. Okay, so this is not amazing. Because uh, there's another guard, and I just knocked out this guy. This guy's probably got like two or three turns left. Let's go ahead and. I got one AP left. I can either observe this guard's movement or open the door and peek. I think I'd rather do that. Because he can't see the door, so I can go ahead and open it and take another peek. Oh man, this uh, level is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. So I'm already hacking the fabricator. I definitely need to get started on hacking this executive access terminal. It's a three turn. Alright, so hopefully this guy will... Well, I guess it doesn't matter whether he's stationary or not. I don't think he's stationary. He's probably going to walk back through that door. Let's find out. Yep. Okay, so I revealed all the remaining cameras. Yeah, I don't care about that one. Hopefully this is where the new new uh, security guard's gonna spawn. Oh, so here's a camera. Excellent, let's hack it. Uh, so this is possibly the elevator ac exit. This is just, no, this is not the elevator exit because there's the fabricator here. I do want to get to the fabricator. Banks has her custom paralyzer available. I could have International drag the body really close. Or I can forget to pick up the body and just leave it there. That's fine. Um, does the custom paralyzer require? Okay, so let's see here. I want. Can you get back to him? Nope, that, that was really bad. Okay, let's see. Banks, we're gonna have you go ahead and hide back here. How is that camera gonna take two turns? So I'm not going through there yet. Alright, fine. Banks is gonna head over this way to loot this thing. I'll have international come back up here and step on him next turn. Banks can't get to the door yet. Because she only has 3 AP. I mean, I could, but it's really risky. It's not worth risking. She's going to... Oh, she's going to be stuck here anyways. I guess she just burst through that door. What's the worst that can happen? It's not going to be a camera. Uh, why can't Banks not move there? Doors closed. Alright. Open the door. It's definitely not a camera. Exit is over here. Excellent. That is interesting. So there might be absolutely nothing over here. This this camera will tell me though. So I will move here and close the door. Alright, we'll check out this fabricator, see if there's anything worth buying. Okay, so I'm probably gonna just leave this guy here to wake up real soon. Uh, this camera, I wish I could I wish that would activate a little bit sooner. Hmm. 
I'm not going to walk through this door yet anyways. Well, I might be able to. Okay, send it to Sharon. Alright. So I know that he can't see this door, so I can just walk through here and hide behind a table. This guy's definitely going to wake up. Mm -hmm. This guy's getting close to waking up too, but he's not near as close as this one. I kind of just want to come through here so I can potentially go through here next turn. Alright, so walk down. Oh, right, I gotta get the terminal. Jesus. Uh, I can't even access it remotely. So this guy is gonna turn around and walk this way, so I should be perfectly fine right here. She can't pick his pockets, which is unfortunate. Alright, Banks is gonna. We oh, got to hack this thing, that's unfortunate. So let's go ahead and check out the fabricator. Ooh, what do we got here? Armor piercing one consumes four power, but does not have a cooldown. That's actually pretty good. But I don't know if I want to be sapping my power. I kind of like to not have to do that. I got a med gel already. Lock decoder. Place in a lock door and decode and save a lock in two turns. That's interesting, but Banks does not need that. Speed skill to three, the skill cannot be upgraded. This is could be interesting, except I find speed to be really important, and Banks is definitely going to be increasing her speed as we go. So we're going to skip that one. We'll skip that for now, too. Alright, so it looks like Banks is just going to hang out. She can hack this. And then she's going to get these and run. Unfortunately, International is having to do all the heavy lifting over here. As soon as I get this thing, uh, the guard patrols can change. So that's, that's dangerous. Camera should activate. All right, there is. What is this? Oh, my mistake. This is not the exit. This is another guard entry. Oh, things are getting real dangerous now. This is the exit. Okay. So, yeah, it's been a while since I played. We'll get it back down. Okay, so International is to come over here. Oh, this is real bad. This guy's waking up real soon. I think I need to hide out for a little bit until Banks can get back. But I want to wait a turn so that I can loot both of these uh, safes over here. So why don't we just have International hide out back here for now? Banks is going to be right here. She can sprint over next turn after I've uh, stolen all that loot. And then we can grab the plans and get out of here. We are going to get another guard spawning really soon. Oh, so this guy woke up. Investigating area. Luckily they have got all these cameras set up so I can see where they're going. Right. Banks loot. Money. Money. Can I get over here? Not quite, but I should be able to sprint just fine. Don't really care about these. I got tons of power. I got nothing left to hack. Uh, I kind of want that rear gun, but I'm gonna save my money for leveling up my my units. All right, so got nothing to do yet. So let's end the turn. Hmm. I suppose I should hack that. No, I can just stun him when he walks through. Area. Oh, that's potentially bad. Okay, so the new guard spawned way the heck over there. So I'm pretty much done with this mission. Banks is going to get in position here just to knock this guy out when he comes to the door. International will do the same thing for the other guy, and then we'll just leave. So she goes into Overwatch or Ambush. 
She's going to access the terminal from behind, apparently. Grab the site list. So the one worry is this guy comes in, or he sees her before he comes in. I don't think he'll be able to. So she'll go into ambush. Hopefully this guy still comes back through. Perfect. I want to make sure to loot him before I leave. I need a security card. So now I can just sprint on out of here. I don't even think I need to sprint, but. Alright, Banks. Banks can sprint to the exit. Did I already steal everything he had? Yes. And we'll exit! Successful first mission. I was a little sloppy, missed some stuff, forgot some things, but I should be able to improve that as I go. I got the med gel. It's always good to have a med gel, to be honest, because sometimes bad things happen and you gotta revive your person. I stole plenty of loot, so we're good there. Alright, so here's where I can upgrade some characters. Uh, I don't think I can do anything with the Incognita. International. I don't like such limited space. So speed I find is really important. Adding that movement is good. Strength also is important. Especially for... So Banks is kind of my main character. International is going to be like backup hacking and stuff. But Banks is like in there doing all the dirty work. She definitely needs strength level 2 right off the bat. Gives her an additional item because she's going to be stealing from people, and the improved drag speed is really important because she's going to be doing most of my, knock my knocking out. Uh, hacking is not important at all for anarchy. Uh, you know, sometimes I've upgraded this to get the steal percent, but it probably costs more than is actually worth it. So, starting off, it's definitely not worth it unless, like, I get specific items that require anarchy, but I don't generally like those items so speed is definitely important here uh, I could upgrade it again but I'm gonna save my money in case I find a really good item that I want to buy and nothing for international she's already got hacking too which gives her the plus one power for console hijack so I should be only hacking with her there were so many consoles in that one though that it wasn't really necessary I find with fusion that often power is not really an issue until you get to uh, more difficult levels. So we're good. Re established contact with the monster. This network picked up the attack just before it hit us, and we're working to trace it back to the source. In the meantime, he's offered to sell us some of his more rarefied stock. Thank you, monster. If we find their central server, we may be able to bring them down, or at least distract them long enough that they lose our trail. Continue scavenging operations, and I'll keep you posted with more intel developed. Alright, so since I got the executive terminal, it opened up new options. And I'll go over these next time. Alright, thank you for watching.